versus Sasuke, we all know who wins, but what if we reduced Vegeta to 1% of his power? That's right, a 99% power decrease in all facets. That's 99% off of speed, strength, durability, attack, potency, and overall power level. It's kinda like when Hades took away Hercules' abilities. Can Sasuke remain alive to overtake Sonic as the Rewind Rumble poster boy, or will Vegeta send Sasuke back to the Shadow Realm? Today we find that out. Today, we rewind Rumble. Vegeta is Goku's greatest rival across all of Dragon Ball and is one of the most powerful characters in the series. He has many forms to boost his power from Super Saiyan all the way to Super Saiyan Blue. He even developed his own evolved Super Saiyan Blue that was strong enough to take on a restricted Jiren the Grey. So before we figure out how powerful 1% Vegeta would be, we need to figure out how powerful is 100% Vegeta before we do that 99% discount. Vegeta easily has universal plus attack potency as he can scale to Super Saiyan Blue Goku which is at least 25 times more powerful than Super Saiyan God Goku who shook the universe. At a low end estimate there are roughly 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. If we lowball Vegeta to just universal power, 1% of that would still be 1 billion galaxies. This is multi galaxy plus. As for speed, Vegeta was able to keep up with Jiren which SSJ Ryu 1 calculated that this would make Vegeta at least 1.96 sextillion times the speed of light, which means 1% Vegeta would be 1.96 septillion times the speed of light. Not sextillion, but septillion, which is still insanely fast. As for durability, Vegeta can tank universal plus attacks, meaning 1% Vegeta has multi galaxy plus durability of easily worth 1 billion galaxies. Not 1 billion planets, remember galaxies have roughly 100 billion planets, so he's still crazy powerful. That's the long story short here guys. Sasuke does not say racial slurs. He can also keep up with Naruto and is far above moon level in attack potency, but I feel like that first part was more important. Sasuke can scale to Superman, which makes him insanely powerful. And it's not just that he could scale to Superman, he beats Superman so bad that the S on Superman's chest actually stands for... In my world it means suck. Now many people may refute this evidence, by the fact that Sasuke lost badly to DJ Khaled, who is only about planet level and barely faster than light. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't Cartoon Fight Club, so I guess I gotta remove the memes. In all seriousness, we gotta go with Boruto's dad to scale Sasuke off of. Sasuke is comparable to Sage Mode Boruto's dad from the last, which according to the Wrath of Itachi, this would scale Sasuke to easily being moon level plus. Sasuke is comparable to 6th path of the Sage Mode Boruto's dad, which would put him at roughly FTL speeds. This should also mean that Sasuke should have moon level durability. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! Excuse me. Where can I find Goku? How do you know him and why? He beat my friend Naruto in the arena, and I want to challenge him to test my strength. He's probably fighting some blue rat or some... Or some guy wearing his underwear on the outside. But he's not around here. Very well. You're a Saiyan, right? Would you like to fight me? You've got to be kidding me! Do you think you can just walk up to any Saiyan and ask them for a fight and expect to get it? Fine. I'm sorry I bothered you, Vegeta. How do you know my name? Because everyone says you're a second-rate Goku. Buster! Dragon Flame Jutsu! Sorry, 
seriously think I didn't see you jump behind this rock? Dragon Fleet! You should start running for your life! Kakarot! What are you doing here? This should give me some time. Planetary devastation! I should have known he was a fake. No way Kakarot can go that long without saying something stupid. What's your name, boy? Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewinds, El Cheatham and YT. I also owe a huge thanks to Shadow of Torres for playing the roles of Sasuke and Vegeta during the animation, and super special thanks to the Mecha Gamer for helping out with the script. Thanks, and enjoy the post-analysis. <laughs>